Dumping aquarium fish and plants into New South Wales waterways can cause enormous damage to both the environment and native fish and plant species. Most people try to do the right thing, but they don't realise the potential damage. Keeping fish is fun, but it's important to make sure living things in your aquarium or pond are kept away from our oceans and waterways. In recent years, an increasing number of aquarium or ornamental fish species have established feral populations in New South Wales waters. The speckled mosquito fish in Sydney, white cloud mountain minnows near Gosford, Jack Dempsey cichlids on the north coast and green swordtails in northern New South Wales. Aquarium fish are often hardy and if released can have major impacts on native species and the environment. Some are aggressive predators that eat native fish. Others become so abundant they consume all the food resources. Aquarium fish can carry diseases or parasites that can wipe out our native fish. And it's not only fish that cause problems. Some of the state's worst aquatic weeds, including Calerpa, Salfinia and Kabomba, are introduced and can come from aquariums. The government spends millions of dollars trying to control these weeds. Both introduced fish and plants can have a major impact on recreational fishing and tourism. Release species can be difficult to eliminate and pose serious threats to fragile ecosystems and important industries. Not only is the dumping of fish and weed environmentally damaging, it's actually illegal. Penalties of up to $11,000 apply for releasing fish in the wild without a specific permit. If you need to move on anything from your aquarium, whether it be flora or fauna, please surrender it to your local PIAA aquarium store or contact us here at the PIAA.